The idea that there's a correlation between sex drive and success makes so much sense to me, and I can't even believe, honestly, that there's a lot of questions about that. The same things that we're looking at for people who we in our 21st century heads think are successful are, you know, when you look at either our politicians or the COOs of companies, they're generally people who are very confident, very driven, narcissistic, um, but often just also very charming and people who can engage people. Those are things that we look for. And then we don't understand why those are the same people who are off having a million affairs, right? Like when we think about President Clinton, we loved him as a community, we did, because he was so engaging and charming and he brought all of us in and he needed to be loved and admired and have sexual conquests. And that often is a package deal. So that's from a kind of psychological perspective. I think from a physiological perspective, and I feel like those always go together, high levels of testosterone really do make people more aggressive, more confident, and have higher sex drives. But for us to understand that testosterone is a driving force, and it's a driving force for what we'd call strength and leadership, aggression, and also for what we'd call a sex drive. And so it's very common that those two things live together. And it's not at all surprising to me if all the studies seem to suggest that people who are very successful in business also have very high sex drives.